Hello everyone and welcome back to Semiotica Velocino. I am Ranja Komu. Doc is here. And this here. is Doc. Yes. That is welcome him. back to Doc laughs at Ram's trauma. Yeah, that was some sit up. Also, just realized we are at the limit of how far this thing can go. <laughs> or how deep this thing can go. I was wondering if you were going to notice that last episode. Oh, well. Uh, is that one of the dangerous ones? Maybe. Maybe not. Oh, well. Uh, I guess we need to decide where to go now. Remember, Ran, I haven't been here. <laughs> yeah. Um, maybe this way? No, like your sense of direction tends to help very much. Uh, all I can tell you is up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A, start. If only the economy could actually worked here. Where am I actually going? There's technically one that way. But we probably need to get out of underground first anyway. A distinct possibility. Yeah, the map isn't even mapping. <laughs> Yeah, we should just go up. We I'm not apologizing. I did not expect you to. I just need to, you know, not get lost. Ah, uh, word. It's a ruby! Yep. There's also that, which I cannot drill because I did not bring the... Prawn suit? Yeah. Oh, this was the way down. I think. I think this actually might be the lily pad biome. Yeah, it is. Okay. We're in the right area for searching for the... Uh, the thing. Question now is where? Hmm. 
Yes, the I could. answer is I have no fucking idea. Yeah, you We've just... already found the ones that I know about. Hmm. Can I feed? You could fit your corpse in there. Yeah, you're right. So we don't really need extra gel. Okay, fine, I'm leaving. By the way, remember, the roars mean they already know where you are. I mean, it's technically a computer system. They, they always know where I am. Yes, but the roar means that their AI has located you. And yet, that's definitely the lily pad volume. I want to go up there at some point, but first we need to, you know, find the freaking blueprint. Oh. It's probably in here, isn't it? For the prom suit? For the grappling hook? Probably. So there's something in here we just didn't find. Maybe. Right, well, what could possibly go wrong, right? Okay, I was gonna say, if it's just that lying out there, it would have been rather miffed. Space to set a too much. Oh boy, potatoes. Those are literally useless. Yeah. They're not a good food source. On second thought, if it's not in there, it's not here. Hmm. Are you sure? I'd leave before you drown yourself. If it's not in the mech bay, it's not... Wait, I, I think I saw one outside the ship on the seafloor. No, it was just metal salvage. Okay, now where's my sea truck? Wait, ran to the right? Is that it? Don't think so, but let me just... So I should probably... Okay, we're still doing well on weather. And I have more in storage. Or I 
Metal Salvage, Metal Salvage. I'm also not entirely sure which one is the McVay. Yes, this place is so confusing. That's a thing I missed. O'Brien's belt this all went sideways. How could I have known that so much would go wrong? I failed my crew. No. I don't fail. I didn't get into this position by being a failure. It's this desolate land. Frigid. Cursed. Between these tunneling creatures, and the strange sickness that a few of the crew are showing symptoms of, we have to leave at first light tomorrow. We are prepping for a rapid takeoff. We can't take chances with the vibrations drawing the tunnelers, so we're skipping the systems check. Risky, but I have faith in myself and the crew of the Mercury. Landing this thing was practically a miracle, though. But we have to get out of here. Maybe the weapon is to keep people away, but if we leave, it'll let us go. I have to leave the quarantined crew in the cave behind. We will be back for them. But we can't risk an unknown infection spreading through the mercury. We're packing survival kits for them, but there's only enough surplus for about two weeks. I'm telling them that we will come back. But I don't think I can land here safely. Twice. I hate this. But I have to leave them behind. I can't risk the entirety of the Mercury. Well, I definitely hadn't found this whole cave last time. Does having found it mean anything? Probably not. Yeah, there's like nothing down here anyway. battery we need to get off this planet I mean the morning started out so well I took a team of six out to find the structures from the planetary scans we were all in high spirits I mean wouldn't be. These structures would be clues to another sentient race. <laughs> it was highly unlikely that another colony would be out this far. We were going to be in the freaking history books. <laughs> Everything was going okay. We were a few miles from the ship when our radios picked up an actual signal. It sounded like an SOS. We got overly excited naturally and decided to enter the water to follow it. <sighs> that decision cost three lives. I mean, half my team. They got ripped to shreds by something. They died screaming alone in the cold, dark waters. I, I'm not going back in that godforsaken ocean again. I refuse. Some of the animals on this planet, they look sick. Too. Weird pustules on the skin, oddly sluggish. I think we should leave. But Diana said we should stay. She thinks the bio patent payoffs would be worth it. But those families will never see their loved ones again. 
They don't care about no payoffs. We can't return the bodies. I don't care about the accolades or the history books. I just want to see Layla and the kids. Oh, man. I miss the smell of my wife's hair. The kids tackling me at the door again. That's all I want. To get out of here alive. Well, at least we found a couple useful things. Hmm. I doubt there's anything in there. Yeah, too small to really fit anything in. So any ideas, Doc? To be honest, I got no clue. Your best bet is probably to build the scanner room. Build the base nearby, build the scanner room. Okay. the materials Do we have any? Spinatite. Quartz. Okay. And interior pieces name. Damn it. Can't build a fabricator. Might have enough. Oh, we don't have a table for a sample. That's not hard to get. No, I just need to get back to base. Ryan, you're literally in the right biome to find one, I'm pretty sure. If you say so, I guess we can look around a bit on the way to this thing. Yeah, that sounds doable.
in my LED <laughs> activates the, the defense system. This biome is creepy. And deep. There's no way to drive in there, is there? Probably not. But I'm a Halo player. You're... You're really determined. Why can't you be normal? I have played Halo before, that's why. Congratulations, you've got uranium. Yes, we already had some. Hey, look. Diamonds. Wait, diamonds? Oh shit, diamonds. You missed that. How do you? Because I'm paying really close attention. Yeah. That's player scores, huh? Hey dog, I made it. Is one of some significance. Its data will assist us on our quest. Okay, let me store my shit. Cause I'm full. I know where to find pretty much everything red. Oh boy, three level diamonds. Or some more iron cubes, just because. that sound in I should also probably you know check this oh huh. sounds about right all right we are like super full of loot so I think it's actually time to head back home Home, heading home, heading home, 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 heading home, heading home, heading home, home, home. Yeah, pretty much. We have a few things to craft. Like, uh, you know, that thing. That could be useful. And in between episodes, I might actually just go get stuff for the cold suit.
Yeah, we didn't find the grappling arm, but honestly, I'm not sure we actually need it. Actually, the grappling arm is really nice to have, but it's not a... If you don't get this, it ends your game. Yeah. Especially since we did at least find the, propu the jet propulsion thing for the brown suit. You know, uh, I think... Ah, there it is. Yeah. So, you know. Well... Remember, this was your idea. I didn't think you'd actually do it. To be honest, I did not believe you would actually do it. <laughs> well, um, it's pretty. Yeah! It's absolutely gorgeous! But you didn't think I would actually... <laughs> no, I did not. <laughs> because, no offense, if there's one word that I do not associate with you, it is bravery in the face of the ocean. <laughs> yeah. I was a lot better at it in the first of Nautica, but then again, I had the Cyclops. Well, to me, the first of Nautica is scarier. Straight up. I felt it was scarier up to a certain point and then I got the Cyclops and just kinda stopped caring because pretty much nothing... Uh, oh, there's more of them. Yeah, um, most things were not a threat to the Cyclops. Yeah, this biome yes, is like but the super. The things deep. that were a threat to the Cyclops were absolutely fucking terrifying. Oh my god, please don't kill me. Bye! <laughs> and that is why I activated that. <laughs> You just scared off, like, the most harmless predator in the game with that. Eh, uh, fair, but... I scared him off anyway. What's that? Oh. Let me go ahead and tell you. He's a bitch. I think that might be the rest of the ship. That's another part of it, yes. Maybe here we can find the freaking grappling part? That'd be nice. Oh god, I recognize those engines. I placed a beacon here, didn't I? No, it just... Yeah, that is indeed a beacon that I completely forgot was there. Probably because it was disabled. And no, that thing over there is one of the most harmless predators. <laughs> Can I get into this thing? Yes, yes I can. Alright, let's see if we missed something in this area. Because we've definitely been here. 
for some Kivateri. Yeah, I think I will be making a few ion batteries once we are back home. But yeah, I guess there wasn't that much over here. How much we haven't already grabbed, but you know, I could just be blind or you know, have missed something entirely. Like, I realize we brought two pair of eyes to be able to find shit, but the thing about that is, neither of these pair of eyes is particularly good, isn't that right, Doc? Especially not mine. Yeah, main reason you spot more things is because I'm the one playing. All right, let's Did head you home. Say you were gonna go home. <laughs> yes, I just noticed this thing and got distracted. But now we're going home. Hopefully. Haven't actually been in this area, at least according to the map, which probably just means we've been here but in a... before we had the map mod, yeah. <laughs> See, those, those things are harmless. At least when I'm in the seat rock. Do you think that can actually grab the seat rock? Mm -hmm. I'd rather spook it off in nearly anyway, you know, take less damage. That way I don't have to, you know go out and repair it in the middle of uh, the Nyeros area. And now we're here already. Well, that was a... Uh an interesting place to go. So, yeah. I hope you'll have fun. And in between episodes, I'll probably move everything from the sea truck to the main base. I'll craft a few things like the Pranzul storage module and um, you know equip the jump jet into the Pranzul and st stuff like that and then I'll probably just grab enough resources to, me to make the scanner room and, and the things it needs and take them back over there Oh shit, I just remember something very stupid. Oh? Uh, okay, so at least we can pretty much tell it was around there, but I was about to be very scared because um, we didn't make a beacon. I'm just gonna remark that marker there because at least I know it was close to that. I forgot that. Uh, 
building a base doesn't automatically place a marker on it. But yeah, in between episodes I will organize all of this shit, plant uh, an anemone mones, uh, turn this into, you know, titanium and I'll probably take an off camera detour over to uh, to get some four four with the penguins because we've been there plenty enough and that's not really progress it's just crafting for the suit so yeah anyway hope you'll have fun and I'll see you next time bye bye